Welcome to today's video on macroeconomic concepts and the production possibility frontier, or PPF. Let's dive into these fundamental economic concepts and understand how the PPF illustrates them. They are 1. Full employment 2. Unemployment, underemployment of resources 3. Economic recession 4. Economic depression 5. Economic growth 6. Economic decline 7. Allocation of resources between present consumption and future consumption 8. Production efficiency, Chapter 1. Full employment. Full employment refers to the productive employment of all resources in an economy, where all factors of production, labor, capital, land, are utilized efficiently. On the PPF graph, full employment is represented by a point on the curve, where the economy is operating at its full potential without waste. Example. Point A on the PPF graph shows full employment. Chapter 2. Unemployment, Underemployment of Resources. Unemployment or underemployment occurs when resources, especially labor, are not being used efficiently. This means that the economy is producing below its capacity. Example. Point B on the PPF graph shows underemployment, where the economy is not utilizing its resources fully. This can be exemplified by Sri Lankan graduates working in roles that don't match their qualifications. Chapter 3. Economic Recession. An economic recession occurs when there is a decline in production due to a drop in demand for goods and services. This is typically a short-term situation that leads to rising unemployment. Example. In the PPF graph, an economic recession can be represented by a movement from point A full employment, to point B, unemployment. Chapter 4. Economic Depression. A prolonged recession leads to an economic depression, where resources, especially labor, are continuously underutilized. In severe cases, resources are destroyed, leading to a reduction in the economy's productive capacity. Example. In the PPF graph, a long-term depression with resource destruction causes the PPF to shift to the left. Without resource destruction, it remains at point B, reflecting underemployment. Chapter 5. Economic Growth Economic growth is the continuous increase in real output over a long period. Growth leads to an outward shift of the PPF, indicating a higher production capacity. This can result from an increase in resources or improved productivity. Example. In the graph, economic growth is shown as a rightward shift of the entire PPF, reflecting an increase in the economy's capacity to produce more goods and services. Chapter 6. Economic Decline. Economic decline is the opposite of growth. It happens when resources are lost or destroyed, leading to a reduction in production capacity. Natural disasters or wars can cause this decline. Example. A leftward shift of the PPF indicates economic decline due to a decrease in resources, as shown in the graph. Chapter 7. Allocation of resources between present and future consumption. The way an economy allocates resources between current consumption and future production is crucial for economic growth. If more resources are devoted to present consumption, fewer resources will be available for capital goods, limiting future growth. Example. In the graph, when more resources are allocated to consumption, economic growth is lower. Conversely, when more resources are allocated to capital goods, growth is higher, shifting the PPF outward. Chapter 8. Change in resources and productivity. Changes in an economy's resource stock or productivity affect its production capacity. Increase in resources shifts the PPF outward, showing economic growth. Decrease in resources shifts the PPF inward, reflecting a decline. Examples. Increase in resources. Discovering new resources, foreign investment, or technological improvements. Decrease in resources. Wars, natural disasters, or reduced foreign investment. Chapter 9. Changes in productivity. Increased productivity allows an economy to produce more with the same resources shifting the PPF outward. Conversely, 
a decrease in productivity shifts the PPF inward. Examples. Productivity increase. New technologies, training programs for workers. Productivity decrease. Use of outdated techniques, brain drain. If productivity increases in only one sector, the PPF shifts only on that side. For example, a boost in capital goods productivity moves that side of the PPF outward. Chapter 10. Conclusion. In summary, the PPF is a powerful tool to illustrate key macroeconomic concepts such as full employment, unemployment, economic growth, and economic decline. It also shows how changes in resource allocation and productivity affect an economy's production possibilities. Be sure to like and subscribe for more videos on economics and financial concepts. See you in the next video.